I'm Pierre, and this is how to make a bagel sandwich. Caleb Robbins and this is my recipe of the week. So this time around we're going to be making a smoothie. And it's going to be so much fun. So uh, let's just get right into it I suppose. So the thing with me is that I can't have dairy so what I do is I just use different kinds of milk like almond milk, oat, uh, oat milk, cashew milk, um, coconut milk, all those different ones. I'm going to be using oat milk this time around and so I'm going to show you guys that I make that really quick and then we'll get right into it. Uh, making a smoothie. So these are the oats that I'm going to be using, just stuff that I found at Trader Joe's. Um, and, oops, here we go. So what you want to do is you want, how to make oat milk is you have one cup of oats to four cups of water. And so I have four cups of water in this thing right here, it's actually kind of heavy. Um, but here's what we do, just going to take that, pour it into the little cup thing here. Oops, easy. And boosh, just like that. And you've now almost made oat milk completely. So, and yeah, what you're gonna do now is just take this, uh, let me grab this towel right here, because it's gonna be my drip of it, but just blend it really fast. And you won't be able to hear me possibly, so I'm just gonna blend this for 30 seconds on a higher. Okay, there we go. So that's the first really crazy loud part of the whole thing, but yeah, after you do that for 30 seconds, just go ahead and take this thing out, which is easy. Oh, and another thing you can do is, like, and we'll do this really fast, is you can add for flavor, and I usually do this, I take a pinch of salt, boom, after I've usually blended it up, and then some vanilla right here. This is just some bourbon vanilla. So, just like that. Two capfuls, normally. There we go. Anyway, so, let's go ahead and now get to, uh, straining this stuff, because we blended the oats and there's a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom of it. Uh, we're just going to put this through, like so. Okay, so now that we've got that part, we're just going to go boom, dump all that out. And now what you're going to do is you're going to just strain it, actually, a couple more times just to make sure that it's all good to go. We're gonna take a soap milk, and for me, I love a lot of, uh, I love a really big smoothie, so I put like three cups worth of this in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that all the way in. Uh, yeah, let's do two and a half cups, that works. Okay, leave this over here for now. Okay, so now we're going to be putting just blueberries in here. I nearly call these bananas, I don't know why. Um, so you can use a whole bunch of other fruits, but I just preferably use blueberries. So let's go ahead and just pour these in. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and put that over here. And then get bananas. I put two of them in because the, it helps with the sweetness a lot, bananas. Okay, and after that, this sounds kind of crazy, put an avocado in it. And I, I know you're going to be completely confused as to why possibly I'm putting an avocado in it, but that's because it makes it super creamy and it doesn't taste like anything, which is super nice. Yeah, so... Uh, final couple parts of this. I should have mentioned this earlier. If you don't have any, don't want to use fruits, you can of course use like an acai container that has no problem at all. It tastes really good still. But yeah, so I put peanut butter in it. That's a really fun thing for me. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. And uh, yeah. 
yeah, so there we go. That's the peanut butter. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to be using is spirulina. And what this is, is it's just a green powder that has so many different types of nutrients and vitamins inside of it that it's just super healthy for you. Just grab like, not too much, just like half of a tablespoon, I suppose, and then just pop that in there. And what's really funny about this, and it's super cool, is that no matter what uh, color you think your smoothie will be, if you put spirulina in it, it turns green. Fun stuff. Right, so now that we've done that, we're just going to go ahead and put this on top, and we have a finished smoothie. Let's go ahead and blend this up. Okay, there we go. And now, oops. Da, smoothie. Let's go ahead and put this in a cup and try this. Now, depending on how much of one or other ingredient you put in, the consistency might change. So I had a lot of thicker ingredients. So mine was kind of thicker. So let's see. That worked out actually really well. It's super cool. All right. Well, there you go, folks. That is the uh, smoothie uh, that we're making today. And this is the recipe of the week with the Jazz Angels. Have a good one. Goodness, this is actually really good. Hang on. I'm going to go have some more of this. Okay, today's recipe, Albert's famous pot pie surprise. So, we have uh, some steamed rice here, seasoned with lemon pepper, salt, and a little butter. Put some uh, this wonderful rice in this nice bowl. Then, Here's the special part. We top it with a microwaved pot pie of your choice. I chose turkey today. Flip it over. Just take all the pot pie out of there. It's a little hot, so you have to be careful. Stir it around a little bit. Perhaps for a little color, I'm gonna add a few slices of avocado. This is Albert's pot pie special and it's great for the musician on the go. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Quincy. I'm part of Jazz Angels and I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite late night snack part of recipe of the week. So first you're going to need any type of topping like cherries, nuts, marshmallows, sprinkles, or Cheerios. You're also going to need Hershey's um, chocolate syrup or you could use their strawberry syrup. You can use chocolate and strawberry if you want. Or both, doesn't matter. Then you're going to need marshmallows or some type of gooey other topping to use. And then you're also going to need our all-time favorite snack, Oreos. Obviously, it's not the most healthy thing. You gotta treat yourself to all that jazz you've been talking Come on. So first, you're going to need to find a very special Oreo with no cracks in it. A nice plate or a normal one is fine. I'm using this cool appetizer one. Then you're going to need to use chocolate sauce and just make it like kind of like a zigzag drip like that. Like if it's like some, it's like a fancy dish like you would find at like a really fancy restaurant. But it's a lot easier because you don't have to pay so much. And obviously you can't go out anywhere so. Then you're going to want to grab um, as many marshmallows as you want, but I am going to put the marshmallow sticky, marshmallow sticky, sticky marshmallow on top of the chocolate dipped Oreo. And then you're going to want to take your extra topping and place it, um, on the chocolate syrup, you can 
have it specially placed by placing them individually or you could just plop them down or throw them or whatever you want. And after doing this for a very long time, very healthy, you can add as many as you want. I'm just sticking to a lot. Always taste test your ingredients. It's very good. Yeah, just drink the chocolate sauce. No, actually, don't do that. <laughs> and then you're left with this. It's not the most perfect thing, obviously, because no one's really perfect. But yeah, that's my favorite mm, late night snack. So thank you. Bye. Uh, my name is Mark, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make my world famous mac and cheese and my world famous chocolate milk. So basically, all you need is like two. One, one spoon and like a fork. I'm mean, gonna use like a fork, spoon, and knife. Thing. And you get a mac and cheese, you open it up, you leave that out, put some water in it. There should be like a little line that tells you when to stop. I'm gonna go and so, um, build up right to the line. Get a uh, you put it in the microwave for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And you stuck that. And then while that's cooking, we're going to be making my world famous chocolate milk. So, I actually already have milk in here, so I'm just going to add more milk. Just put as much as you want. And... Get this Nesquik chocolate milk, it's like a powder. And it's, it looks like this, and it has like this little powder stuff. So I just get a spoonful, and I usually pour it over here so I don't make a mess. Put it back in there, I usually put about two spoons worth of milk in this. Put as much as you can. Uh, put the chocolate milk in right there. Just stir it. That's about good right there. You save that to drink when you're eating your mac and cheese. And, okay, I still have two minutes, 50 seconds. So, I already made some of my world famous popcorn right here. I mean, I had already made it, but if you wanna know, I got this like popcorn with like cheddar. I, have a bag of Cheetos and it's basically Cheetos with popcorn in it and if you want to make that it's pretty good it's actually it's one of my favorite snacks and uh oh sorry I don't have many Cheetos in here I kind of eat some actually so if you could yeah, that's what it looks like I mean I usually put oh, like more Cheetos in them but I don't really eat some yeah, Cheetos popcorn oh, I don't and Sometimes I need to let it evaporate for like 10 seconds because uh, it still has a little bit of water. But I'm just going to go ahead and start off. Um, so you get, we already have our butter ready. So you just throw, throw that in there. Somehow. And you get your cheese and throw it on top. Make sure you get the whole bag of cheese in. And... Put the lid on this real quick, we're done with that. And throw this away real quick. And I'm just gonna start stirring it real quick. You stir it till it looks decently good. Um, you get some milk. Pour a little bit in there, not so okay, yeah, like that. I guess I'm put a little bit too much in them, but good. That's looking good right now. And 
This is my uh, recipe, and this is basically what I eat for basically every day. It's my go-to on the move type food, and yeah, that's about it. So yeah, thank you, thank you. Hi everyone. Here is my recipe for the week. I call it must go mashup. I look in the fridge and see what's gonna go bad tomorrow. And that's what I'm gonna eat today. So let's see what we have here. Some chicken, some vegan meatballs, some rice, an onion, and a couple of mushrooms. I'm going to chop it up real quick. Now, I'm going to add a little avocado oil because it's so healthy. And put it on the stove. Use a medium heat. And while that's heating, I'll cut up the mushrooms. Have a drink of water. Mmm. Check my email. Okay, now I'll add the rice. The mushrooms. Stir it up a little bit. Let it simmer for a few minutes. Finish my glass of water. Mmm, that's good water. And then when it's done, I simply put it in a bowl. And for me, the secret sauce is Chili Herrera. This stuff will cure everything. It is great and you can't find it in stores. Folks, if you want some, get a hold of me and I will introduce you to the man that makes this stuff. I suggest two tablespoons per serving. One, two. Stir it up and you have a hearty dish with everything that is gonna go tomorrow. But you get to eat it today. Manja. Mm -hmm.